Let's have a look at Grayscale Litecoin Trust, very popular asset in the channel. And I know it has been correcting hard recently. Could be difficult for those who got in above $44. However, in my opinion, this is temporary. We have events right now that are out of our control and have generated a lot of fear, a lot of selling, a lot of panic selling in the markets, in the OTC, in crypto, and in the stock market. Almost everything is red. Do not panic and look at it in a calm manner. We are approaching the $26 support level. Many people were complaining when the coin, when the coin, when the stock took off here around $30 that, it had, that they had missed the boat. We are getting back to support here around $26, $25, and we're approaching the MA50. Therefore, already, in my opinion, it's a great buying opportunity of the Grayscale Litecoin Trust. But you can wait. You can be patient and wait to see how it stabilizes. And the first green candle up, it will be even safer to get in at that stage. So you can wait for that candle to happen. So we have been correcting for the last four days. The volume is going down. Nothing has changed in the crypto market. Nothing has changed in the grayscale trusts. It's only the uncertainty around the Middle East that is influencing all markets right now. So when fear is in the market, you have to evaluate, is it a good time to grab few shares of assets that I really like. This is the case for LTCM. We are getting a big discount from $47 now at $28. And we know that this asset in a couple of days can come back to $48 extremely quickly. So it's not something fundamental that's wrong with the Grayscale Litecoin trusts or any of the trusts or any of the stocks. It's a major sell-off everywhere. Bitcoin is at the major support. Many assets are at their support. Some have broken supports. You just have to be patient. When fear is in the market, you need to decide if it's a good possibility to grab cheap shares of or cheap coins out of the assets that you follow. In this case, I believe it is true. We are two, three days from the halving, and that will influence all the crypto market, including the Grayscale Litecoin Trust. So either you decide to sell here, which you have the liberty to do, but if you're investing for the whole bull market, this is not a selling event. It is a buying opportunity at a lower price for the same shares. It's up to you to decide what to do. But in my opinion, this support will hold or $24.20 will hold. And after that, we'll trade sideways. Eventually, we'll get a green candle here and we'll resume the upwards momentum. LTCN has been behaving like the previous cycle. Therefore, nothing has changed fundamentally. Keep in mind that the trust if it does exactly what it did four years ago, this movement from $26 to $47, it's absolutely nothing compared to what we could expect. If we go beyond the all-time high, well, it's going to be even more explosive. So always look at the big picture, analyze your assets. Once you have the minimal list of things that you want to follow and invest in, Every time there's a crash, you need to see, is it a buying opportunity or the asset has changed or the market has changed? Is the bull run done? Major things like that, which I don't think is the case. So you need to have information, experience on what to expect for these assets in order to invest. If you're investing blindly without knowing what could be coming, it becomes extremely difficult to choose your assets. So I hope I shared some 
important information for you guys. Look at the market in a different eye, staying calm, looking at the facts of what's going on. You have absolutely no control of what's happening in the Middle East. It could last one day, one week, six months. We do not know. So it's out of our control. And then we just need to follow what the buyers and sellers are doing with our assets and try to extract as much value out of those assets with the actions of the sellers and the buyers. Sometimes the sellers do stupid things 